Are you curious about the sun yet? We were. So we invited NASA scientists Sten and Daniel to come and talk with the students about the sun and help them with their calculations. Do you know how to average these numbers together? The median, the mean. The, find the mean. You add these numbers up and divide by the number of numbers. <laughs> One of the most important things is that uh, the sun is a star. The sun is an active star that goes through regular cycles of maximum and minimum activity. The students are calculating the solar maximum and solar minimum by looking at data over the last 50 years that covers how many sunspots occurred during every decade. And, this, and some of the really big sunspots you can easily see if you look at the sun with the naked eye. Looking directly at the sun may result in permanent eye damage and even blindness. We care about solar weather, it's like electronics for high-speed trains can be affected by it. And uh, since a high-speed train at 200 miles per hour is a, is a pretty dangerous thing if it just runs loose. So we want to know what's going on here. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. You can imagine the, the Earth's magnetic field a bit like an eggshell around an egg. So without this shell, we would be fried. And what about if we were on the moon? Yeah, if you're on the moon, uh, you would be fried. Well, so what you would have to do is go in your little spaceship and wait until the storm is over. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Our teachers tell us every day that there are less and less scientists who discover new things. My personal goal is I just love to instill in them curiosity. So I hope I'm raising the next generation of scientists, and I hope that some people will just come out with more of a sense of wonder.